NRF rating. Um, so this is a useful goal. Now, not everybody likes NRF ratings. There are flaws and difficulties and whatnot. But I like it because every five years, note the time period again, you go for a new rating. And you get in a peer-reviewed assessment. Are you, are you staying excellent? Are you improving? Are you going down? It's a very brutal assessment because peers, you know, they, you never know them and they don't, well, they know you, but, you know, they'll tell you exactly what they think and, and quite a brutal thing. But even if you don't like an NRF rating, the criteria, the four criteria that they use, I think are excellent for you guiding your academic career. They talk about the quality of your research. How do you assess the quality of your research? Where did you publish it? What did the reviewers say about it? How many times was it cited? How did it influence other people? The quality of your research. Coherence. Remember I'm talking about focus and coherence? It's very important to have a clear coherence. So your research is in a coherent place. It's not all over. Okay? It's coherent. Not focused, but coherent. Your role in conceiving of the research question. So when you're a master's student, your role in coming up with the research question might have been quite small. PhD, it will grow. Postdoc, it's really getting big. When you're an academic, you're doing this all by yourself. So it's important that you, when you look at your CV, not all the papers will you, you know, sometimes you collaborate, somebody else asks you to come on board with this. You need to see a spread of papers that you have come up with the idea with. Very important. And then consistency over time. So remember that quote we were looking at earlier? Sometimes research goes in spurts. More important to try and make it consistent. It does go up and down. You can't make it equal every year. Two papers or five papers or whatever the number is. But you want it fairly consistent. Okay. So four criteria to gauge your success as an academic. And if you use the NRF rating system, great. Okay? So you might set yourself as a goal. I want to go from a Y2 to a C3. That would be a fantastic goal. Not easy to achieve.